this is Monica Ordinoff bringing you a WLFE news alert. In a startling announcement made just moments ago, the chief prosecutor announced that an indictment has been handed down for Jesus of Nazareth. For those of you not familiar with this traveling teacher, Jesus has been gaining quite a following through the countryside through his speaking. This following has put him at odds with religious leaders in the temple. Details are sketchy right now, but reliable sources say that this move is fully supported by the chief priest and the Sanhedrin. Here's the chief prosecutor's comments from just moments ago. Thank you. In response to alarming reports of rabble-rousing, sedition, divination, and other blasphemous acts, a grand jury was in panel to hear these charges against this carpenter turned teacher, Jesus of Nazareth. As you know, the testimony and deliberations of a grand jury are confidential, but I can tell you they were incensed by what they heard. Jesus of Nazareth has been traveling the area, calling to tormented souls, to women, to fishermen, and yes, even to tax collectors. There is a need to stop such nonconformance. Our chief priests and other religious leaders are the ones to tell us what is good and what is right, what will be pleasing to God not this nomadic wanderer. Your leaders have spoken. Their words have been heard. We will stop this man. Jesus of Nazareth, your days are numbered. That statement by the chief prosecutor has drawn a sharp line in the sand between religious leaders and Jesus of Nazareth. WLFE has teams working around the clock to gain an interview with both the chief prosecutor and, if he can be found, this Jesus of Nazareth. As details come in, we will bring more information to you. Restating this is a WLFE news alert. An indictment by the grand jury handed down just moments ago means that Jesus of Nazareth is going on trial. I'm Monica Ordinoff. Stay tuned for more on WLFE News.